Okay, I got cut off again, sorry. So Frankie actually has a really curly tail. His goes around like this, comes around again, and ends right there. So with him, when I trim his tail, um, it's kind of different than when I do with the other ones. What I do is I start the same, you know, I trim up right here, and then I go with the flow, you know, of how the, um, how the tail goes. But then when I come over here, I actually stand on this side, and I go this way. So it still goes with the flow of how his tail goes. And I just keep going up. You know, if, if your dog has a really curly tail, you would have to do this this way. Um, I know quite a bit of the Basinjis just have the one loop, but there are quite a bit that do have the double loop. So um, that's what you do with that. And then, you know, you always want the tail to be curly. So don't unravel it, especially if they have a nice tail like this. You want to just keep, you know, going with it, making it continuously curl. Now, obviously, he's probably done curling. But, um, you know, I want it to stay that tight and that pretty. And then, uh, and then I would do the same thing with him. You know, you can use the regular scissors like this. You just have to be very careful that you don't go too deep because you'll see the marks from the scissors, you know, because they're, they're not forgiving. They're, you know, you cut this, it's cut. So you just have to be more careful with that. Um, and then, you know, I may as well just do him since he's up here. Same amount, put about, you know, that much in your hand. Frankie, Frank. Another good thing to do is keep this on, but you know, some like Missy, you know, she's not gonna go anywhere, but with Frankie, he's still a puppy, so he doesn't like to stay um, where I put him. So you just kinda, so you can see the white on here, you just kinda spread it around, barely touching them until you have most of it off of your hands, and then just massage upward into their coat. Um, and you just keep doing that until it's all, you know, the white's gone. And you just keep massaging it in there. And then the spray, just like we did with Missy. Good boy, aren't you freaky? And then you just brush them. Now, if you have these really sharp, you know, pointed ones, don't do it very hard because it can hurt. So just do it, you know, lightly. Just you're just pretty much wanting that um, brush to even the spray out that you just sprayed on. So, and then um, now, if you can tell, he's really glossy. I don't know if you can tell on here, but. He's got a really nice sleek shine to him. And his tail is all done. Got the double curl here and going up to the next. All right, and then um, when you put him on the table for the judge, I know you had said you wanted to know about that. So what you do is you stack him, make his front feet so you put him like that. This part of the foot should be perpendicular. Um, some people put it further back, some people move it up further. It's technically speaking, it's supposed to be perpendicular. And then you just, uh, you can go like this. When the judge is there looking, bait him, you know, bring the treat out in front and kind of get his attention so he perks up his ears, gets attention and then uh, the judge will ask for it to see his teeth so you can either show his teeth or you can have the judge look at him um, whatever if your dog usually jumps back may as well just show him because it'd be easier for you and the judge but if he's fine with strangers teeth good boy and then the judge is going to continue on down so you'll want to 
get his attention over here while the judge is going. He's going to touch along the back, go down the legs, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, And then he's going to take you, or tell you to take, take him off the table and go down and back, which is simply you just follow the line. Um, you'll go to the corner, turn around, come back. He's looking at the front and the rear gate. So he wants to see how your dog moves. So like I said, he'll look at the front and he'll look at the rear as he's going and coming. And then he'll probably tell you to go around the ring. So you just go like this, pull this up underneath his collar or underneath his uh, chin, and then you know you'll obviously he'll be down lower, but then hold it straight up like this and go around the ring. You'll want him at a trotting pace so that he can show off his movement. You know, so he's running like this. You know, where his legs and whatever go straight out, and uh, and then you just stack him and. Wait for the next one to get done, and then the judge will look at everybody and see if you want. <laughs> Alright, well, hope these videos are helpful for you. Good luck!